This is MSJ Chem and in this video we're going to look at Lewis structures. So what are Lewis structures? Well Lewis structures show all the valence electrons in a molecule. They show the bonding electrons and the lone pairs of electrons. Here's an example of the Lewis structure for methane. These straight lines they represent a single covalent bond and here's the Lewis structure for a water molecule. We have two single covalent bonds and we also have two lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom. Next we look at the octet rule. So most atoms are stable with eight electrons in their valence shell, hence the octet rule. Octet means eight. The exceptions to the octet rule are hydrogen, helium, beryllium and boron and also period 3 elements such as sulfur and phosphorus. Hydrogen and helium are stable with two electrons in their valence shell. Beryllium is stable with four electrons and boron with six electrons in their valence shells. So next we're going to go through the steps of drawing Lewis structures. So the first step is to calculate the number of valence electrons in the molecule. Second, you calculate the number of electrons each atom needs to complete its octet. Third, you subtract 1 from 2, so that's 1 from 2, and this will give you the number of bonding electrons in the molecule. So let's have a look at an example. The example is CCl4, which is carbon tetrachloride. So the total number of valence electrons is 4 for carbon and then each chlorine has 7 and there's 4 chlorines so it's 4 plus 4 times 7 equals 32. So that gives us the number of valence electrons in the molecule. So next the number of valence electrons needed for each atom to complete its octet. So we have carbon and chlorine, both of these need 8 electrons to complete the octet so there's a total of 5 atoms, so it's 5 times 8 equals 40. The next step is to subtract the total number of valence electrons from the number of valence electrons needed for each atom to complete its octet. So that's 40 minus 32, so that gives us the total number of bonding electrons. So that gives us 8 bonding electrons in the molecule. So the next step is to draw the skeletal structure of the molecule with the least electronegative atom at the center. So in this case the least electronegative atom is carbon and then we draw single covalent bonds to the four chlorine atoms. So one single covalent bond equals two electrons, that's a total of eight bonding electrons. Our next step is to complete the octets of the atoms in the molecule. So here I've completed the octets of the chlorine so make sure that each chlorine has 8 valence electrons and the carbon in the center also has 2, 4, 6, 8 valence electrons. So each atom has the octet. And next we do a final check that all electrons are accounted for. It should match with the number that we calculated in part 1, which was the total number of valence electrons in the molecule, which was 32. So we have 8 and 8 and 8 and 8, so 4 8s are 32. Let's try another example, CO2, which is carbon dioxide. So we count the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. Carbon has 4 valence electrons and oxygen has 6. So it's 4 plus 2 times 6, that gives us 16 valence electrons. Next we count the number of valence electrons needed for each atom to complete its octet. So carbon and oxygen can have 8 electrons in their valence shell, so it's 3 times 8 equals 24. The next step is to subtract 16 from 24, which gives us 8 bonding electrons in the molecule. So if you draw the Lewis structure for carbon dioxide, you'll find the only way for carbon to complete its octet, that is to have 8 electrons in its valence shell, is to draw double bonds between the carbon and the oxygen. So if you're finding it difficult to fill the octets of the atom in a molecule, then you'll have to try using double bonds. Let's try one more example. So we'll try drawing the Lewis structure of NH3, which is ammonia. 
The total number of valence electrons in the molecule, well, nitrogen has five valence electrons and hydrogen has one, but there's three hydrogens, so it's five plus three times one equals eight valence electrons. Next, we calculate the number of valence electrons needed for each atom to complete its octet. So nitrogen needs eight electrons, but hydrogen only needs two. So that's eight plus three times two equals 14. Next, we subtract eight from 14 to give us the number of bonding electrons. So that's six bonding electrons in the molecule. And here's the Lewis structure for NH3. We have single bonds between the nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms. So that's two, four, six bonding electrons. We have two electrons left over. So we put those as a lone pair on the nitrogen atom. In some molecules, you'll have to add lone pairs of electrons to certain atoms to complete their octets. So that's all from this video. And don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.